son. Hey everybody, how's it going? Ben here. Hope you're all having a good day. I wanted to do a new video on my PUBG settings, both for Xbox and PS4, as I've changed my sensitivity settings at the start of the new year, and this is the best I've ever had my settings. I'm super happy uh, with how they are now, and I've been doing really well, playing really well uh, since changing them. So I wanted to go through them quickly with all of you. I'm using the same settings on both Xbox and PS4, uh, so it's very relevant to either platform, whichever one you play on. And let's take a look at what we've done. So if you watched the previous video I did on my settings, I had pushed them all up quite a lot. I tried to push them a bit higher to give myself a bit more reaction speed on all different optics, really. And what I realized was that I'd probably put some of those too high. So we're not going to go over all of these in great detail, but I wanted to show you the ones that I changed particularly. We are on type B. Uh, if you didn't see before, I play on type B controls. I think that's a much better one to use just in general so that you hold down to ADS rather than tap to ADS. Uh, I use inverted Y just out of habit. That's not a skill thing. That's just if you use Y inverted, then that's what you use. And if you don't, you don't. Don't worry about that. Uh, my dead zone, I've left at 25. I like those quite low. Forward running, I've got at 10. Movement, I've got at 100. Vertical sends, I moved up to 75. And that feels a little bit better, actually. I had that uh, a bit, bit lower before. And I've just moved this up a touch and that feels a little bit sweeter. General, I've kept the same. Now, the main point I wanted to make in this video is that I, I like having a high general sensitivity and a slightly lower sensitivity on my optics. So that's kind of what I've done. We've still got this on 12, which is the same as before, which allows you to spin around and snap to targets very, very quickly. But I've actually brought down a lot of my other ones. So you'll see my over the shoulder has been brought down to seven. My 1X has been brought all the way down to six. Uh, 2x to 7, 3x to 7, uh, 4x to 6, 6x to 5, 8x to 5, and the 15x is still on 20 because it's the 15x. And the reasoning behind this is that I felt a lot more comfortable with getting my initial aim using general sensitivity accurate and then just making micro adjustments with the scope that I was using. And if you have a higher sensitivity with the optic, when you try and make those micro adjustments, it can really throw your aim off quite significantly. So if you can make your initial aim very accurate, so when you spin to face your target before you actually hold down the trigger to aim in, if you can make that very accurate, and when you zoom in, you've pretty much got your aim on point anyway, the very, very small adjustments you make are gonna be a lot easier with a slightly lower sensitivity. What you've gotta make sure you do though is you don't drag your crosshair around while ADSing too much, because then you're gonna notice that it feels slow. So rather than panning left and right while ADSing, whether that's through your red dot or through a 4X, it's better to just zoom out, re-aim using general, and then just aim back in at the point you want to aim. So if you can get in the habit of doing that, for me, that works really, really well. I'm sure it won't work for everyone. Some people might just want them really high or really low, but this feels like I've really got mine in the sweet spot. There's certainly a chance I might tweak these a little bit more, one or one up or one down, but I'm very, very happy with how they are at the moment. Um, I've heard a good feedback from a couple of people who have tried it and said that they've really enjoyed it too. And I've had some good games. I already had my highest kill game ever in PUBG just a couple of days ago. So they've been really working for me. I've had some chicken dinners, I've had some high kill games. Uh, and if you're struggling with your settings, maybe take a look at these. So that's it for today. Just a nice short video. Hopefully you find it useful. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments down below or come over to Twitch and ask me live. I live stream every weekday from 1 p.m. GMT on twitch.tv slash thebeardguys and always happy to answer questions if you have them. So thanks for watching. My name is Ben. We are The Beard Guys and I'll see you next time.